The National Archives was established in 1954 as the Central Archives of Fiji and the Western Pacific. In July of 1971, it formally came into being with an amendment to the Public Records Ordinance. Situated along Suva's Carnivan Street, the National Archive's role is to collect and preserve Fiji's documentary heritage by making it available to the public through exhibitions and research services. With more than a million documents dating from the early 1800s, the National Archives consists of five units, and these are the Archives Advisory and Repository Unit, the Conservation Unit, the Digital Continuity Unit, Microfilming Unit, and the Library. I'm Timo Dimbalinebalu, the Senior Archivist with the Archives Administration and Advisory Service of the National Archives of Fiji. This unit is the main repository of the government um, records uh, or, or record center and uh, it uh, stores uh, records which dates back to the uh, 1800s. Our main function is um, we select and evaluate and take in custody those records that have a permanent value. When we say permanent value, we look at the, um, those that have uh, administrative, uh, legal, historical and uh, maybe uh, uh, financial uh, value to the government of Fiji. Most of the records here have uh, uh, historical value, like the uh, deed of session documents, documents on the history of the indentured laborers that uh, came to Fiji, and also for the Polynesian laborers. These are some of the uh, important documents that we have. So our main function is not only uh, uh, storing them, we also have to uh, look at how the public can access them. My name is uh, Taito Rayone and uh, I am the senior conservator for the National Archives of Fiji. As a conservator, my work uh, is uh, mainly on, the, on the, the preservation or the maintenance of all damaged documents. We have uh, three officers in this section and we are all uh, responsible for the maintenance of all uh, damaged documents or records in the National Archives of Fiji. The oldest uh, document that uh, we conserved or, or repaired in this section was the one of the copies of the first Bible printed in Fiji. It was printed uh, in, uh, at Wiwa in uh, 1847 by Reverend John Hunt and we spent about uh, uh, three weeks working on that original copy. The processes of uh, the work we carry out uh, depends on the extent of the damage to the documents. So if the damage is uh, minor, it will take us a few minutes. And, uh, some processes will take weeks and months and even years to finish. Now the processes uh, ranges from the mending of uh, simple uh, tears to the more complex uh, treatment such as the desertification of uh, very dirty or embrittled documents. Bulavinaka, my name is Esther Fisietu. I am the archivist at the Digital Continuity Unit. This unit was established in 2011 um, to digitize all audiovisual programs and photographs from the Department of Information and other government departments that have audiovisual and photographic units. The process involved in digitizing photographs is to simply scan them we currently have four scanners, so our staff is working around the clock sorting and scanning this photograph before we move on to indexing and cataloging them for future reference. Apart from our photographs, we also have our audiovisual uh, collection, which has already been digitized. It was sent to Dempsmart, a company in Australia last year, to digitize. 
So they've sent it back to us with a catalog and a database. Our job now is to verify the information, the footage and the, the titles and as well as include other things uh, such as um, important people so that's easier to search. The Digital Continuity Unit plays a vital role at the National Archives of Fiji in preserving Fiji's photographic and audiovisual history. Okay, welcome you to the microfilm section. Okay, my name is Nikhil. I'm working here for the National Archives of Fiji microfilm section as a archive assistant. The microfilm is a, it's a, it's like a storage device. We keep a USB, we got CDs, it is a storage device. So what we do, we store records, whatever document we have. In a flash drive, we keep our documents, our microfilm, I mean our Fiji Times or anything, any record that we have, we have to keep it safe. The, sa the thing, the word we have, have to bear in mind is preservation. The reason being why we are using, uh, still being using the microfilms rather than the, using the new technology which is the USBs, the flash drives, the CDs. Eh? The main reason is because of its uh, reliability. We cannot uh, rely on, the, on CDs or on, uh, on USBs for storage purpose. The reason being is because of its security. A flash drive can catch a virus anytime possible. Eh? Any, if anything, if you put it into your, lab, in your computer, if you store it, one day or the other, it will just crash or something will happen to it. But when you're going to put it into flash drives, I mean into microfilms, it will be there for so many years. Like it can last you for so many years, for many years, for thousands of years. Microfilm is always been part of any archives. So National Archives, for National Archives is very important that we have a microfilm section. Microfilm section will keep all these records. It will back up all these records, keep preserving all these records, which is very important. The library at the National Archives of Fiji is also known as the Sir Alport Barker Memorial. It receives all materials printed or published in Fiji. The National Archives of Fiji plays an important role in bridging the gap between Fiji's rich noble past, capturing the development of a nation through time, a valuable tool for researchers, decision makers and everyone from all walks of life.